What's up you guys, it's Ness. Today's video is gonna be kind of like a tech haul. I had to bust a move in New York and I figured while I was in New York, why not just stop in B&H? It's always a good idea and a bad idea. Yeah, let's see how that works. So yeah, here we go. So the only time I really go to B&H is when I want something right now. Normally I'll just order it online. But today I just really wanted to get what I needed to go ahead and take the next steps for my podcast. And not only that, just for my channel in general. So, you know, just decided to vlog it. And whenever I go to b and I always make sure I have a list. A list is so important when you walk in there. Otherwise, you just end up buying things that you don't need. So uh, always make sure you have a list and get thirsty. Got a bag full of goodies right here, so we're just gonna, you know what I mean? So let's get started. So the first thing that I got today was a new everyday book bag just for, you know what I'm saying, just carrying around, whether it be my Fuji X100V or my, I was about to grab the A7S III, but it's on the tripod. But that's why I got this bag, just to carry one camera, maybe a lamp, one lens, you know what I'm saying, a couple things. I'm really dumbing down my kit, so I don't like carrying a bunch of stuff when I'm traveling. Um, or when I'm going to do a job, I don't really want to carry a bunch of lenses. I just want to carry what I need and keep it at that. So this low pro bag is great. It wasn't um, that expensive. I think it was actually on sale for like, not even on sale, I think it was like 83 bucks. So don't quote me on that, but it wasn't that expensive and it looks very nice. So yeah. The next thing that I picked up today was a second Shure MV7 podcast microphone. Um, I already have one of these. If you haven't seen the video for that, um, I'll annotate it somewhere in this video. Um, but yeah, I picked up a second one of these because I also want to uh, start incorporating other creatives in my podcast, the actual podcast, you know what I'm saying? So um, I definitely need to pick up a second one of these. I love this microphone, it's really good. It's really great. And um, to go with the microphone, I also picked up another uh, Megami cable. You know what I'm saying? These are supposedly supposed to be the best cables for audio and they just help with the signal and all that stuff, but I'm not gonna get into all that. You guys do your research. So yeah, microphone, Megami cables, those are the next things. And I also got a TRRS cable, so that way for the next thing that I bought, um, I can also take phone calls and then just, tch, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. For the smaller items, lastly, I just got two tabletop stands um, with you know mic arms and stuff, just for the two um, microphones. And finally, the whole reason I went to BNH, I have this thing when I want new tech, or I'm thinking about starting a new business venture, where I just kind of like dream about the tech. I think about the tech. I watch a thousand, a million reviews on the tech, and um, then I just go ahead and just pull the trigger. Lastly, we got the Rodecaster Pro, man. I've been wanting this because um, when I do my podcast setup i don't necessarily want to sit behind a computer all the time um i might want to shoot in different places in my apartment or my apartment building or just like i don't know somewhere else so just being able to have this to just like quickly just record things and just you know what i'm saying it's just it's amazing but um I think that's about it for everything that I purchased. Constantly investing in stuff to, you know, bring you guys the best. And not only that, just for my personal portfolio, just when I go back and watch some of my old videos, I really enjoy them because I'm like, wow, this is really good because I know I invested the money into it. And I know it's gonna turn out into something great. So um, just wanted to do like a little tech haul for you guys, show you guys what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and set this stuff up and then, um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So I hope you guys enjoy these styles of videos um, and yeah. Yeah.
Turn the headphones down just a little bit. Testing, one, two, testing, testing, testing. All right, so I finally got everything set up for the Rodecaster Pro, and it was a fairly easy setup. And the reason why, again, I purchased this is just because I wanted to be able to just get to straight recording. You know what I'm saying sometimes I don't always feel like sitting back there at my desk. And sometimes I want to move around whether I'm traveling or if I want to go somewhere and just sit down and talk about some things or just give you guys updates and reviews and so on and so forth. So I'm definitely going to be using this on a daily basis. And this was a great investment. So hope you guys enjoyed my little tech haul vlog. Hope you guys appreciate the quality. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for uh, my podcast. Thank you so much. And I've been talking.